Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I have got what I've been warming today. So it's been a couple weeks since I filmed one of these. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've been warming in my house throughout the last couple weeks. And I'm gonna give you some warm reviews on what I warmed, where I warmed it, how it did in my house. So you might decide what you might wanna try or where you might wanna warm the things that you do have. So today I've got like the vast majority here is Scentsy. There are a few other like vendor and retail items as well, but mostly Scentsy today. Um, I will just kind of start with the closest stack to me here. We'll go by room. The first room is going to be bathrooms. So I did two cubes of Harbor's Edge in the guest bathroom over the last couple weeks. This was a bring back my bar scent last round. And this is a fresh type bar. This one has like beach grass or sea, I think beach grass. It's definitely got some aquatic tones. It's got like a berry note to it. This one had all kinds of notes going on. The overall impression is a beachy, grassy, fresh type scent with a hint of sweet berry. Um, my issue with this one has been performance all along. Um, I can't get this one to do super awesome in my home. So in the bathrooms, it did well. I could smell it. And it does seem that this one is benefiting from sitting a little while. So if you did get Harbor's Edge and bring back my bar last round, bring it out now. It is getting a wee bit stronger. Um, yeah. This one I could easily smell in my bathroom. It was about a medium strength, but only for a day. And that has been kind of my issue with this bar is it is the longevity. Um, so longevity was a little less than average for me for what I prefer for a bathroom scent. Um, so this wouldn't be a repurchase for me. I am just kind of working my way through it, but it is a very pretty colored bar. This kind of like cornflower blue. So yeah, enjoying that. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a second. I did want to say before we carry on, I am melting the holiday bricks right now as I'm filming this. I can't give warm reviews yet because although I know kind of what they smell like at this point on warm, they haven't been going for more than a few hours. So I can't tell you how long they last or how long the strength lasts for or anything like that. So I will hold off on giving you warm reviews on these until they've finished warming. Um, but sometime probably early-ish next week, you'll see warm reviews of the holiday bricks from me. So just letting you know that. So the next thing I warmed in bathrooms was Fall Into Love. This is a current Harvest Collection bar. I've, I did two cubes in the guest bath. This was very, very lovely. Just pretty, like definitely a pine tree scent, but it's tempered with enough of other stuff that it, it works for me. So I think even if you don't love pine tree scents, you may be okay with this. At least I am. Um, I think if you like pine tree scents, you're gonna love this. This is a little bit of balsam. It's got some cypress, or uh, balsam and orange. It's almost got like a cranberry note to my nose. This is a nice performer too. It's got like a teeny wee hint of perfuminess to it too. Um, that just kind of makes it feel very bathroom appropriate to my nose. But I think you could also mix this with berry scents with all kinds of different things and get some really nice blends for an open layout. I do think this would be open layout worthy for most homes, maybe not the very largest of, lo of open layouts, but for most homes with open space, this would probably be okay. So this one I would recommend if you're looking for something open layout worthy. It's just a very pleasant, like kind of late fall, early winter type scent to my nose. Then we did a welcome little one. I did two cubes in my daughter's bathroom, guest bathroom. This was from the moment by moment collection a couple years ago. This one is like almost like a sandalwood laundry, like floral laundry with sandalwood and like a little wee hint of sweetness. And I'm not sure what the sweetness would be because I don't think it's like super fruity. Um, but this is very pretty and it's not vanilla. I don't know. This is very, very pretty. This was a very light bar when I, when it first came out and this bar has sat for some time and this is now a solid medium strength. This is a very nice performing bar at this point. And I put this in her bathroom and I kept walking in there and being like, that is very nice. What is that? And it was this. And so this is kind of a nice, unique, different type of laundry scent than we've had. And like, you would think it would have lavender and maybe it does. But I don't really get lavender from this so much. I get floral laundry, very clean, and some woodsy tones for depth. This is really, really pretty. So there's that one, a little bit powdery as well, but very pretty. Would I purchase it again? Probably not, but I do enjoy it now. Okay. Then in my office, we're moving on to the office now, I did Vintage Chic Sense The Warrens. This is glazed cinnamon donuts in a warm cup of mulled cider topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. This was a gift from my sweet friend Becky. And this one was lovely. I think I had this before last year and I loved it. Yes. 
So this one was very pleasant. It's definitely like an apple cinnamon scent with a lot of sweetness. That marshmallow really comes through. It's very nice and it went for a couple days in my office. It was two little like unicorn head shapes and I did both of them in the warmer, it was good. So there's that one, medium strength, good performer. If I was purchasing from Vintage Chic, I would probably look for this if she had it. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Then we did Harry Potter Wizarding World. This is the catalog Harry Potter bar. This came out last year and this bar is from then. So this bar is a year old. This bar when it first came out was the most perfect blend of like slightly elegant, sophisticated men's cologne with like library. It was just the most like mood setting scent. It was very like slightly cologne but like not too cologne and had enough other stuff going on that it wasn't just like cologne. This as it has sat has become more masculine and a bit more cologne heavy. Um, and this bar is always strong. Like this was a very strong bar out the gate when I first bought it and it's even stronger now. This one is like, it reminds me of a perfume I had from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab called Dorian. And I love that perfume. It's a little masculine, but I love it even just on me. It's like sugared black tea and like, I think a Victorian fougere, whatever that is, like a, a musk. It's a little bit gentlemanly, but also like sweet and kind of like sweet and black tea. I love this. It's a little masculine for me now that it sat for a while and a little too strong for me now that it sat for a while. So I think if you are averse to cologne scents, you may want to use this fresh and not let it sit like I have. But if you like those kind of warm, like warm, warm, like old fashioned men's cologne type scents. No, we're not talking Axe body spray. We're not talking anything like that. We're talking like just warm, clean gentlemen. This is that. It's pretty good. I would say half the amount of wax you normally use. If you usually use two cubes, try one to start with. This is like way stronger than like anything. So very open layout worthy for sure. Then in my office, I had done two cubes of Mandarin Moon. This is a bar in my club. We had it in Bring Back My Bar about a few rounds ago. This is a fantastic scent. It's a Scentsy classic. People are always asking after this bar. It's wonderful. I will say if you miss Mandarin Moon and you don't have it, there is a brick coming out called Orange Spice and Everything Nice on October 16th. It's not the same, but it may do the trick for you. Similar orange note, not quite the same spice tone, but close enough that I think you'd be happy. Um, this though is beautiful. This is never leaving my club. This is a nice medium plus strength. I did this in my office, two cubes. This went for two or three days. It was lovely. It's just inviting. It's a nice balance of a nice orange, not an orange cider, but like an orange with like this like star anise. And I don't know what the other spices are. If I had to guess like a little bit of ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, but the star anise makes this very unique. So I really like this one. This is a winner club bar for me. Love. Then on October 1st, we were doing our big holiday launch and I was staying up late to to place my group order and all of that good stuff. So I decided to set the mood with some Christmas cottage. Did two cubes. This one is Valencia orange, raspberry and cinnamon. This is just good. Like this is just classic Christmas in a bar. Red hot cinnamon. A soft, soft raspberry and orange. It's mostly like a spiced cinnamon orange with a very slight hint of a sweeter fruit, but not a whole lot of the sweet fruit. It is mostly spiced orange and pretty cinnamon heavy, but like perfect. It is perfection. Christmas in a bar. Love this one. It just, it's, it's sets the mood for Christmas. It is available in the bar size or in a whole brick in the catalog, whichever you want. But I love Christmas Cottage. I will keep stocking up on this forever. Then in the laundry room, I had done one more cube of the Chase Rainbows Blue Bar. This one was available maybe over a year ago now. This is a strong laundry scent, strong fresh air laundry, kind of along the line of like Clean Breeze. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a very fresh, sharp laundry scent, not as floral as some laundries. This is more of a fresh laundry, like line dried cotton almost. Very nice, very clean, and good for the laundry room. So did a cube of that. 
This one, when I first got it, I didn't find the performance awesome, which was weird because most people found this to be very strong. As this is set, I do find it to be quite strong now. So this one has aged to be pretty good. It lasts a good few days. Good medium plus, like six or seven out of 10 in strength. Very, very good. Probably wouldn't repurchase because I don't typically warm those types of scents very often, but not bad. Then I decided to work on some sweet pea and vanilla in the laundry room. This one is a classic, again, classic Scentsy bar that a lot of people absolutely love. This one is sweet pea and vanilla, I think with a hint of raspberry jam. Yeah, there's a bit of sweetness here. It's very similar to like Bath and Body Works sweet pea scent. This one does have a bit of sweetness from that raspberry and I do feel like the sweetness has increased with time as this has sat. This is a kind of sweet floral. It's pleasant, it's springtime-ish. It's just not one I reach for very often, but I wanted to work through this bar. So I did a cube in there. Um, it was okay, like medium strength, maybe a day or two. This one does seem to perform quite well in bedrooms for me though. It lasts quite a while in bedrooms, so there is sweet pea and vanilla. This one also kind of is re reminiscent of the brick we had in the spring. Um, pink apple nectar, pink apple nectarine, something like that. Reminded me a lot of this. So that is sweet pea and vanilla. Not a repurchase for me, but it, it's fine. And right now in there, I've got jammy time going. It's been going since Monday. It's been a few days, four or five days still going strong still going strong got like lots of life left in it this one does very very well so this is a very intense bar some people have told me this gives them headaches that has not been an, an uncommon sentiment i've heard that from quite a few people um i am very 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 headache prone migraine prone and scents do trigger them for me sometimes everyone's triggers are different though so for me white florals are a big migraine trigger this one doesn't do it for me this one is not a headache bar for me it never has been but for some people it is, so be careful. Um, it is a clean, like, lavender laundry and just so unique and so strong. It's hard to explain. It's clean, but it's also very cozy. It is a little bit sharp, but in a, in a pleasant way. And it's a little bit sweet, too. It's just a good, like, little kid's jammy scent. Um, you can get this in laundry too. It's wonderful for bedding and pajamas and that kind of thing. But yes, the one cube in my laundry room has lasted days and days and days. It is going strong. This is a very good performing bar. One of the best bang for your buck bars that Sensi does. So that is jammy time. Then onto my daughter's bedroom. We have got Dumbo Circus Parade here. This is one that is available starting, I'm not sure what day this video is going up, but starting on Monday the 9th, this will be available. And this one is like orange creamsicle with like mango. It's just like the most beautiful creamy citrus. Really lovely bar. Some people get a weird note from this. I never have. I have always really enjoyed this bar. It was in my club for a long time, but then I got a stockpile, so I took it out. Um, my daughter really enjoys this. We find this to be a very good performer as well. So this is a nice strong bar. I've done this in my open layout before, very successfully, it did well. Um, it probably wouldn't work for a very large open layout, but for mine it did. Um, bedrooms does very well. In her bedroom, this lasted maybe two days. It wasn't super long, but it was long enough. And yeah, a nice solid medium strength. It's really, really good. It's a wonderful bar. So if you haven't tried Dumbo Circus Parade and you like citrus, I highly, highly recommend Dumbo Circus Parade. That is a good one. Um, yeah, very good. Probably the best orange cream type scent we have. I prefer this one over Tangerine Creamsicle, for instance. So highly recommend Dumbo Circus Parade if you haven't tried it. And we do have another Dumbo bar. The Dumbo brick will also be available on the 9th and I did warm that in my open layout. So we'll get to that here shortly. So next up in my daughter's room, we warmed the Chase Rainbows red bar. This one is I think cherry, watermelon and strawberry. Yeah, strawberry, watermelon and cherry. This one is a very strong berry fruit type scent. My daughter loves this one. This is one that I have to be in the right mood for. This is one where sometimes this smells absolutely amazing and other times it just smells odd to me. Um, my daughter loves it though. So this one does quite well. Good solid performer. I would say at least an average medium strength, average duration at least. Um, yeah, it does well, did well in her room. This one's also fun for mixing. I think you could add like a lemon scent to this, maybe squeeze the day or lemon sorbet and make a nice lemonade scent. Um, this one does lean sort of summery, like lemonade type scent to me, but there's no lemon here. So yeah. 
This one, I probably wouldn't buy more just because it is kind of a hit or miss scent for me, but my daughter really enjoys that one. Then we have a new one this year. We have Dashing. Now I had two cubes of this left, which isn't enough for my bedroom. Normally two cubes is what I do in our bedroom. Dashing is one of those scents where it is just a bit softer and you do need to double the wax to get good performance. So I didn't have enough for our bedroom because I only had two cubes. My daughter's room is the, is the, the room in our house that holds on to scent the best. Her room, for whatever reason, just scents do very well in her bedroom. Dashing, the two cubes in her room, these did amazing in her room. These were a solid medium strength. Ben is dreaming. Do you hear the little wolf woofs? Okay, he's done. He's like, woof woof, and asleep. Okay. Yes, this is very, very nice in her room. This is a warm, cozy, sweet vanilla with some like, what would that be? Some like wood, not really woodsy even. Warm, rich, sweet vanilla, almost like a sugar note. It's just comfortable. This is a very comfy, cozy scent. It is just, it's beautiful. Almost like, I almost wanna say tobacco, but don't let that scare you because it's not at all smoky. In zero way is it smoky. It's just rich. Like if you think like a very rich, rich vanilla with a tinge of tobacco, this is almost like that. Um, just, it's beautiful, beautiful. Almost like a perfumery vanilla. Um, but this in her room lasted for like four or five days. It went so long. I've never had, <laughs> I've never had, I didn't expect that out of this bar. This bar tends to be a lighter performer in my experience, but in her bedroom, it went at like a maybe four to 10 strength for like days and days and days. It actually still had some smell left when I took it out at like the four or five day mark. So this one did very, very well. So highly recommend dashing for smaller bedrooms. Um, if you're gonna use it in a larger bedroom, I would say double your wax and I would not try this in an open layout. This just will not hold up in an open layout. But for your smaller spaces, this is really, really nice. I have already reordered this, I'm getting more. Next we have Vintage Chic Scents I Smell Children. Um, this one smells like candy corn cupcakes. I did this in my daughter's room. Yes, this one was really good. So I've had, I've melted this a few times. I had good, good performance from it in my office. In my daughter's room, for whatever reason, this one just didn't smell like much. And I don't know why. Because again, like I said, usually her room does really well for scent. This one, not so much. Not sure why. Didn't really get a whole lot from this one this time. But in the past I have, so I'm not sure. So there's that one, um, just kind of a general sweet scent, but it's normally a very like sweet, vanilla delicious scent. So there's that one. Then I did one, I did a big Sassy Girl Aroma order recently. I haven't filmed it. I didn't have time when it arrived, so I just haven't filmed it. And I don't know if I will at this point. It's been a couple weeks and I've already warmed a lot of it. So I don't know if I'll just like let you guys see the stuff I got as we do these videos as I warm through it. But one of the things I got, specifically for my daughter. And this is one that I ordered back in like March or April. And then it didn't get included in my order. So she included included those ones that didn't ship in my like March, April shipment in this order. So this is from a way a while back. So it's aged a few months. This is Purple Cow. I ordered this for my daughter. This is grape popsicles with vanilla ice cream. And it's super, super cute. Just very little girlish. And my daughter loves grape popsicles. She also loves ice cream and she likes silly names like Purple Cow. So I thought she would love this and she does. This is really good. You, you can't not smile when you smell this. Like it's so little kiddish. Um, yeah, great popsicles, a little bit of vanilla. On warm, it was mostly great popsicle. The performance on this surprised me though. I expected this to be fairly strong, but fairly short lived. This was fairly strong, like maybe a six or seven out of 10. And then it tapered off from there, but it went for like three or four days. Like it went pretty long. So she loved it. Loved that her room smelled like great popsicles and that it smelled like purple cow. So she gets a kick out of this one. This is going in her little wax drawer just for her use. So that is purple cow from Sassy Girl. If you have kids, I would recommend it. It's just fun. It's just fun. Then on to the open layout where it's probably where I've done the most. The first thing I did was a gift from my friend Liz Quinn over to Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. This is Yankee Candle Autumn Wreath. There was a cold rainy night. It was actually the night my Sassy Girl Aroma order arrived. And my husband had some kind of work thing, so he wasn't home for dinner. So my daughter and I just like made craft dinner for dinner, something real easy, quick, 
and then we ate that and then we opened the sassy girl aroma box and sniffed through it together and i had this going and it was this cold like rainy drizzly night um leaves are all falling this was perfect this was like the perfect scent for that day you know how sometimes like you just the scent is just right for the day this was one of those it was just i had picked the exact right scent for that for that evening and it was perfect i loved it so thank you liz this is a classic yankee scent it is spicy and sweet and apple-y um i don't see the scent notes on here but i smell apple and spice but it's like the most warm homey scent it's just wonderful so really really enjoyed that so i would get more of that if i could it's beautiful and i would recommend it if you have a yankee nearby then i had done the honey on the side which is from melt and lather this is from my friend emily uh she's emily loves wax on instagram she does some really cool like time lapse videos with her melting pools it's really cool um honey musk caramel bergamot apple cinnamon allspice and vanilla this was wonderful i liked this on cold but on warm this came alive like this was beautiful um I also got like, I think almost two days. I think I got like 36 hours out of this. It was gorgeous. Did the whole thing in my open layout. Just kind of spread throughout my four warmers. It was wonderful. It is like a Honey I Washed the Kids dupe from Lush mixed with like apple cinnamon. It was beautiful. And that Lush like Honey I Washed the Kids scent is just, I love that scent. If you haven't tried it, you should really try something in Honey I Washed the Kids. It's, it's beautiful. This was really, really pleasant. The Honey I Washed the Kids doesn't seem like it would be a long lasting scent. But it's one of those ones that does tend to like go for a while so this one i said like i said lasted quite a while it was about a medium strength i really really enjoyed this so i'm very curious to learn more about melton lather so i may have to uh plot an order for some time in the new year for her then i had done a clamshell of churro churro there was a day was it last sunday i can't remember some point on a sunday i had decided to make churros i've never had churros so i made churros so it was a whole thing a couple hours they were delicious and they smelled just like this yeah it was good good day so to compliment the churros that were being made i did churro churro in my warmers it was lovely this one was about a maybe four to ten in my open layout it's not a super strong bar but it does go a while and it's like very smellable so between a four and a five in strength one day or like 12 hours but very very good this is in my club it will probably never leave i really really love churro churro all right then we had done fall feeling this is a new release bar this year people are loving this they're going nuts for this bar i don't care for this bar personally i'm i'm the odd one out on that i think i'm the only one myself and linda over at uh, linda h over on youtube here i think we're the only two i know of that don't care for this bar um everyone else is loving this this one is a very very spiced orange scent quite sharp to my nose almost like i don't know it's just very sharp to my nose so to counteract some of the sharpness that i get from this i threw in so i did six cubes in my open layout of fall feeling spread throughout four warmers and then i did four cubes so one cube in each warmer of oats and honey just to kind of balance it a bit and oats and honey is like honey oats and just like brown sugar goodness this is an old school bakery scent this does not smell new this smells like old school Scentsy Bakery and it's very, very nice. Very oaty though. Like you have to like oats. Um, and I do. It's kind of like buttery oats and brown sugar. So did that together. Um, oats and honey didn't really fix fall feeling for me, but it did make it palatable enough to get through. So fall feeling is not our purchase for me, but I am, again, I'm the odd one out on that. I think if you like fresh, I think if you like autumn road trip, but you want it to be like sharper and orangier and spicier um this would be like a spicier sharper version of autumn road trip i really like autumn road trip but i prefer the 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 balance of that one better than fall feeling personally um oats and honey is in my club um i don't know if it's ever going to come out or not we'll see but it's not coming out anytime soon i love this one so this is a great mixer nice on its own just nice buttery oat brown sugar goodness then there was a day where I just picked this up and it smelled like the right bar for the day. This is a bar that I do enjoy, but it's one that I don't often reach for. I think I have one or two left. This was a Sense of the Season bar year before last. Um, spiced Apple Chestnut. I can't remember what the notes on this were. It is a nice balanced apple. I get some woodsy tones. 
it's very sweet but I also get like definitely like almost like an oak note definitely some kind of wood maybe an oak note the spice here is very balanced it's like a nice sweet apple a hint of spice but mostly like a woodsy apple homey sweet scent it's very pleasant so to me this doesn't really read Christmassy even though it came out with scents of the season this reads more fall to me so I warmed this on a nice fall day um, and really enjoyed it. It was like a nice one dayer, but nice medium, like seven out of 10 strength, medium, medium plus. Average-ish duration. Very, very pleasant though. I enjoyed that. Just the right bar for the day. Would I repurchase that one? I don't know. Like I really, really like it. I just don't know if I would repurchase it because it is one I don't reach for very often and I have so much wax. Then I had done two cubes in my kitchen of Scary Good. This one is currently available in the catalog. It is pumpkin, toasted butterscotch, cinnamon, and vanilla. This is like Halloween in a bar. It is like a smoky, butterscotchy pumpkin spice. Really, really good. This one mixes well with like everything. This is just a good mixer overall. And then I had six cubes of cedar cider. Now I wouldn't normally mix these two, but I like to do eight cubes in my open layout. So I had two of this and I had six of this. So I was like, well, I guess you guys are going together. So this went in the kitchen, this went in the rest of the open layout. Cedar Cider is also in the catalog. It is a nice, balanced, classic Scentsy scent. It is like the most lovely wood cedar note. And apple. And like just like a little tiny bit of mulling spices. The cedar here is just classic. It is not hamster shaving cedar. It is not musty cedar. It is just, it's not fresh cedar either. It's like aged cedar chest aged cedar chest in like a very very nice homey comfortable home that is what this is with like some sweet apple in the background like well sweet baked apple it's like it's just a very classic balanced homey scent cedar cider is one of scents he's more underrated scents in my opinion so if you haven't tried cedar cider i highly recommend just throwing a bar into your next order and giving it a try because it is it is lovely some people find this to be a very strong performer. I'm not one of those people. This one to me is more of a medium strength and like a one dayer. So like very respectable performance, but not like a crazy boomer like some people find it. But it seems to depend on the house and on the nose with this one. This is one where people seem to, some people seem to get very good performance and I get more average. Scary good, super strong performer. This one can carry an open layout like no one's business. Um, I didn't smell it much in the mix, but again, I had so much more cedar cider going, um, so it kind of got lost in the mix. But this one on its own typically is very, very strong. Yeah, it's a good one. So if you like pumpkin spice scents, Scary Good's a good one. Then I had done gingerbread buttercream. There's that one. This one was a scentspiration scent last year. Now last year we had the buttercream scentspirations, and I had pretty hit or miss performance with those. I did club gingerbread buttercream because I just love a good gingerbread scent and we don't have any this year or last year except for this one. Scentsy seems to give us a buttercream or a gingerbread scent every few years and so we just got this one last year so I suspect it'll be a while before we get another one. Um, so I did want to keep this in my club. It's not an awesome performer though. Um, I did the whole bar in my open layout. It was good. It's like a nice molasses -y gingerbread. It does have kind of a interesting spice profile that some folks might not like. What is that? Cardamom maybe? There's something like an aromatic spice here that some people may not enjoy. Um, I like it. I kind of hoped that this one would, would age really well. It does have those spices. It does have that kind of rich molasses type note. It smells like a soft, soft gingerbread. So I kind of had hoped this would age very well. It has not even after sitting for a while and getting all juicy and leaky. This one was not a very good performer. So the whole bar, it did maybe like a three or four to 10, probably like a three out of 10 in strength in my open layout. And it was like a 12, well, not even 12 hours, like eight hour type scent. So not a great performer. It was like a one evening type scent. So I put it in late in the day around dinner time. It was pretty much gone by bedtime um, and pretty light the entire time. So not a great performer. It is high on my list of being booted out of my club if I need to make cuts, but I do want to keep it until we get a different gingerbread scent because I do love gingerbread scents. So there is gingerbread buttercream. I like the scent, I wish it performed better. 
Then I had done a mix this week that was absolutely lovely. So I had six cubes in my stash of Autumn Blaze Maple, which came back and bring back my bar a round or two ago. This is a favorite of Liz Quinn. I do not care for this one. I'm very hit or miss with maple scents, and this is one that I didn't like initially. Now I do find it more palatable now that it's actually fall, because I think this came out, I want to say this came out in the summer, in like a summer bring back my bar at one point, and at that time I did not care for this. I found it, found it very cloying, um, but now that it's actually crisp and cold out, I, I seem to enjoy this. Maybe it's the fact that it's aged a bit and I just prefer it aged, I don't know. But this is much better than I remember it being. Um, but I did want to mix it just a little bit. So I grabbed some sweetness. I grabbed some Frightfully Delightful. I had two cubes. So I did two cubes of Frightfully Delightful to six cubes of Autumn Blaze Maple. And I did this throughout my open layout. And then in two of the warmers, I just dotted a cube of Frightfully Delightful in two of the warmers. So some warmers had none of this. Some warmers had a little bit of this. This was a good balance. So Frightfully Delightful is a very strong, powerful bar, very open layout worthy. This will do any large space. This one is more of like a medium, like six out of 10, like a very respectable solid medium. This one is very strong. So you want much less of this with any mix that you do. I would say with almost any mix, you're gonna want very little Frightfully Delightful. It's a great mixer, but use very little. This was a very nice mix. The balance was perfect here. It was a nice mapley, delicious goodness. Yeah, that was a good day. That was a good one. So I would do that again if I had more Autumn Blaze Maple. I don't have any more. I probably won't repurchase more if I ever see it, but I am gonna, I think, get a little bit more Frightfully Delightful. I only have one more bar of this. I thought that would be enough for me, but the more I warm this, the more I really like it. My daughter loves this scent, so I don't know. If I had to guess, and I don't know, if I had to guess, I think we'll see this back next year. We have the new Pumpkin Mickey Warmer. I think they'll probably offer that again next year too, if I had to guess, but that's not a guarantee and they, you never know with them. But if I had to guess, this has been very popular. I think we'll see it back next year, I think, but I'm not sure of that. So I'm gonna grab another bar. But I mean, if you really love this scent, I would club it. That way you have a stockpile next year when it's fall. And if they don't bring it back, you have it in your club. So there's that one. That is the thing with sense. You can guess what they're trying to do, but half the time you'll be wrong. So you never know. Then we have the brick. This is the Dumbo Soar High Through the Sky. This is coming out on October 9th. Um, so we have the brick. Here it is. This one, let me bring up the notes here. So the notes on this one are apple, melon, magnolia, and candied fruit. So soar high above the clouds where thrills and delights abound with apple, melon, magnolia, and candied fruit. This one on cold, my friend Arena said it right, is Skinny Dippin' and Beach Daisy mixed together. It's juicy, it's wonderful, and a tiny bit body care. I almost smell like a pineapple note here, but I don't think there actually is. I think it is the apple and melon and candied fruit. I wonder if there may be a candied pineapple in here, but it is a, it's a juicy, juicy scent. And the magnolia scared me because I don't typically care for magnolia. It's a white floral. Those kind of scents tend to be hard for me. Um, the magnolia here isn't floral. It is a tiny bit body care. And on warm, this was much the same. This was a bright fruity scent and that magnolia did come out a bit more on warm than it does on cold, but it was more of a body care type scent than, than a floral. Um, yeah, this was very, very nice. I did two cubes of the brick in my open layout, chopped them in half and one went in each warmer. Um, it was really good. This one was, so the, the thing with Beach Daisy in particular is Beach Daisy is tricky for some people to smell. Depends on the house. For some people, it seems to do like a medium strength. For other people, they can't smell it. But regardless, Beach Daisy is pretty short lived, pretty much across the board. Skinny Dippin' is a nice one day, super fruity scent. Nice, good performer Skinny Dippin' is. This one was a good performer too. So I think if you liked Beach Daisy, but you wanted more performance from it, Soar High Above the Sky might be your solution. I think if you like fruity scents, this is a no brainer. This is a very, very good one. I think this is gonna be widely appealing. I can't see many folks not enjoying this. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a home run. So if you're a fruity fan, if you like Beach Daisy, 
this is very, very good. Like this is like, this one screams to me May and June. So it was kind of weird to be warming on like a crisp fall day, but for May and June, this is exactly what you want to warm. This is perfect for then. And very good performance. I would say strong performance. I would say eight out of 10 in strength in my open layout. Very, very nice performance strength wise and pretty respectable duration wise too. We got 24 hours out of this easily. So very, very good performance wise. I would recommend this. If you like the idea of the way this sounds, performance is good. I think this is a good purchase. So soar high through the sky, two thumbs up for me. Performance was good. Scent is lovely. Um, fruity fans need to try this. Finally, we have our bedroom. So we did Olaf warm hugs. My husband's been a little bit under the weather with a cold. So I had some Olaf warm hugs. This one is mint, warm woods and vanilla. This is a nice cozy bedroom scent. It's a little bit powdery. The woods, you know, here's a bit powdery. This one doesn't have as much vanilla as you might like. It's a little bit like clean and cozy. Um, almost like a bit of a powdery laundry there. But the woodsy note is there. It's kind of a just kind of cozy, cuddly scent. Um, not super vanilla sweet though, but there is a hint of mint here. This was just really nice for when my husband wasn't feeling well, had a bit of mint, um, but was just kind of comforting and cozy. So I did four cubes of this in my bedroom warmer. Olaf Warm Hugs tends to be a pretty light bar. So if we ever see this again, it is a very good scent. I would recommend doubling your wax if you ever do get it, um, but it's a good one. I would repurchase this for sure. Then we have Enchanted Woods. This was a, a swap one from my friend Sara in New Zealand. This one's great. I think Region 2 has this as well. If I'm wrong about that, correct me in the comments. Um, but I think England, like Europe has this too. This is really, really nice. This is hard to describe too. Like this is Enchanted Woods, but it is not at all pine. It's not pine. There's almost like a, like an herbal note here, maybe lavender. But like an herbal note or maybe sage it's reminding me a wee hair of blue sage and tonka but this is like nicer and stronger this is beautiful it's got a warmth to it it's got maybe like a vanilla base potentially there's something smooth i'm not sure it's not really sweet but it's smooth but woodsy not cedar, maybe oak, but not the same oak that Sensi has been using recently. It's just nice. This is just clean. It is a clean woodsy scent without being pine. And I think that's the unique thing about this is that usually when you think crisp, clean woods, you think pine and this does not have that. So this is very unique. It was a really good performer. Did two cubes in our bedroom, did about two days, maybe medium strength. This was very lovely, just very soothing, grounding, um, yeah, I would say it's grounding and soothing in the same way that Blue Sage and Tonka is, but this is less masculine. I really enjoyed this. So that was lovely. Enjoyed that. Then I did another one for my swap with Sara in New Zealand. This is Sweet Berry. They had this in Region 3 at one point. I think it might have been a bring back my bar for them. This is gorgeous. So I did two cubes in our bedroom and I should have done four. I was trying to like nurse this along and get lots of use out of it but I should have done four cubes because it did two cubes in my daughter's room and that was enough for her room. But for our room, I think it needed double the wax. This smells like the Avon pink bubble bath, but sweet. It's gorgeous. It's clean and like a little bit feminine, but just like clean and pretty. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's really, really pretty. Like I would get more of this if I could. That's beautiful. Sweet berries a winner for me. It is a little bit light on performance, but it's beautiful. So there is that one. Then I did Sassy Girl Aroma. This is another one that I got in my recent order. This is Mellow Lavender. This is sweet, relaxing marshmallow and vanilla with a touch of lavender. I would say it's more than a touch of lavender. I would say this is mostly lavender with marshmallow vanilla. It's gorgeous. It's a very nice marshmallow lavender. Reminds me a lot of the lavender marshmallow scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, I think it's actually probably like almost identical to that. And I love that scent, so I am very happy about that. I did four cubes of this in my bedroom because it is a lighter scent and it was pretty light even with the four cubes. Um, I would say like maybe a three or four to 10 in strength in my bedroom and like a one dayer. So performance wasn't what I'd hoped, but it was very nice, 
I don't know if I would repurchase because it was so light, but it may get stronger with time. This one I think was just poured, it doesn't say. Does it? No. This one was a fairly recent pour though, so it may get stronger with time, but I really did enjoy the scent. Then I did another one from my recent Sassy Girl order, Candy Cane Cookies. This was fantastic. This was Candy Cane and Freshly Baked Sugar Cookies. I did four cubes in our bedroom. This was a good night. Actually, it was good two nights. Yeah. This one on the first night was like that, it was a lot of mint and cookie. The second day, it turned almost into like a, a marshmallow mint cocoa type scent. So the first day, this was minty cookies. The second day, it almost turned to like a chocolatey tone. And my husband thought it was like a chocolate mint scent. And it smelled very much like marshmallow mint cocoa does on day two. So this one was a good one. I would definitely repurchase this. I am looking forward to the rest of this. This was a very good one. I would say six or seven out of 10 in strength. And it, like I said, I went for like a good 48 hours. That was a good one. Then I had done Winter Biscuits, another Sassy Girl one. This was at the recommendation of my friend Melissa. This one is the sweet scent of Christmas baking permeates the home with warm hints of cinnamon, buttery pastries, gingerbread cookies, and patchouli. I do think you have to like patchouli for this one, and I do. Um, but I think if you don't like patchouli, there is a fair dose of patchouli here. Yeah, it is a gourmand patchouli. This smells like something I would wear in perfume. I do like a good like gourmand patchouli scent. Um, kind of reminded me a little bit of like Terry Mugler Angel. This was not as perfumey as that, but a similar like that kind of gourmand patchouli thing going on. This was very, very nice. I enjoyed this very much. This one, again, not super strong in my room, but quite long lasting. I think I did get two days out of this. I think I warmed it twice. I think I did two cubes each time. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I did this twice. So I think I got two days, but really enjoyed that. So that was a good one. I did get two of this one and I'm glad I did. Um, I might do this my open layout too. This is just very, very nice. And then finally, I did some chai tea and cookies from Teddy Bee's in our bedroom. I've just been loving this one in the bedroom. This one is signature sugar cookies, vanilla shortbread, and warm notes of chai tea. This one's wonderful. Yeah, I'm burning through this one. Um, this is the most decadent, like 7 out of 10 strength black tea cookies. So sweet, so tea-ish, so yummy. Doesn't last super long. It's like a one evening type scent but I love it. It's beautiful. I would get more if I could. That's a good one. So that is what I've been warming over the last couple weeks in my house. I would love to know what you've been warming, what you've been reaching for, what kinds of scents you've been in the mood for lately. Um, I've been definitely in like a bakery mood lately. It's just that time of year. Um, it's getting cold. The nights are getting to freezing. It's just, it's cool. It's crisp and it is bakery weather for me. So that is kind of what I've been feeling like lately. And uh, yeah, so like I said, Warm reviews of the holiday bricks will be coming soon, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.